Hello, I'm Nick Jarbo, and today I'm going to do a demo of the Magic Database Upload System. If you would like to upload your data to the Magic Database, first go to the Magic uh, homepage uh, found here. If you uh, Google Magic Paleomagnetic Database, uh, we're the first one. Or you can just go to earthref.org slash magic. Um, so once on the home page, uh, if you click on this upload button here, go to the upload page where you can either drag or drop your file or select it uh, from the uh, file GUI. Uh, you can upload Excel files, magic files, uh, and tab delimited files, and comma delimited, delimited files at the moment. So I'm going to upload a uh, Excel file, and uh, first I'll show you what that looks like. So here's uh, the file I'm going to upload. I've set it up with uh, a worksheet for each table. Um, we have sites, samples, specimens, and measurements. Uh, this is uh, I've called places, but it's actually the locations table in Magic, but we'll show how that can be changed. And then for each uh, on each table, um, at the top of is uh, is the header column, and that's the name of the column in the Magic database. Uh, if you use our actual column names, uh, then in the computer will figure it out automatically um, what it should be uh, in the Magic database. Uh, if you use another name, then uh, there's a way to select that column in our web GUI. So I'm going to take this file and drag and drop it over here. And uh, now we've got the uh, import step. So we've put the file in and we have this GUI here that allows us to manipulate uh, these tables before we put it in to our private workspace. So this is an Excel file. Uh, this first one places is not an official magic table. What it really, what we really want to correspond it to is locations. So we can select locations, and now this error has gone away. Um, next, uh, we go down here. See sites have already been selected. If you have a different number of header rows, you can change that. Um, and here we have four errors on this table. Uh, this, uh, these columns aren't recognized. So you can turn off any column if you don't want to import it just by clicking on here. You can also turn off the whole table by clicking on here. But we want to use it, so we're going to keep it on. Uh, this is the uh, original age from uh, the paper uh, that had uh, the plus or minus. I split it up, so I don't need this, uh, this column anymore. And um, I've uh, named these ink and deck, uh, which is uh, something that you might call your inclination and declination, uh, but that's not what they're called in our database. So if you type in inclination here, it's called uh, direction ink, um, because we have also intensity ink. Uh, so for declination, again, if you're not sure what it is, start writing in declination, then it comes up. If you had other ones like, um, you know, latitude, latitude comes up, or VGP, so on and so forth. So that's pretty convenient. Declination, and N over NO, that's another column I left there. Uh, I used Excel to break it up into these two columns. Um, that's pretty convenient, but I don't need it. But I'm leaving it on my other one just for reference. So turn that off. Now it says file was parsed correctly. Something you can do uh, to make this easier is that once you've selected all of the things that you're on and off and your different parameters, um, like we did on the sites table, so this is off, uh, this is dr, um, ink goes to uh, direction inclination, deck corresponds to direction declination, you can create a new import template uh, for this so that next time you come back you can just all of those selections that you made can be saved. So we'll just call this uh, AGU demo 
sites. So that's the template. So now it's here and uh, I've got some various other ones that I've used for other imports um, that are saved there. Uh, so now once you've done that you can upload. So if you if you haven't logged in uh, to the magic database you need to log in and so I'm going to be uploading this as Nicholas Jarbo dash magic. So I'll upload. And now this uh, screen shows you an interface of uh, what uh, there used to be in that upload, which uh, is, this is a new one. Um, you can upload to other ones if you want to add things to a contribution that you already have. Um, so I'll just call this upload AGU demo. Uh, private contributions at the bottom. You can look at the map and see if everything is where you want it. If the method codes are correct. Uh, if you've got the expected number of the various uh, rows in your tables and so on. So this can take a bit of time. Um, we've got this little twirly here to let you know when it's going on. Here we go. So not too bad. Uh, and so now we've got this private contribution. Um, if you so this is not yet publicly available to be seen on the magic database but it's in there and the data is stored and you can public uh, publish it or what we call activate it um, by uh, putting in a URL um, putting in a DOI uh, for the study that's uh, this data is associated with um, you'll see here this is going to be the permanent link so if you have your data here uh, now you know you can put that link in a paper. Uh, eventually we'll create a data DOI that you can also put in the paper. Um, and what, we, what I can do is show you um, just sort of a, a DOI um, and how, how that reference works. So let me grab one here. Google Scholar and recommended articles. Sure. This is just an example. I'm just grabbing a DOI here. Okay, let's see if it comes up. So copy this. Put it into the study DOI. If you hit this little thing, it'll recall the uh, information. So you don't have to type in all this reference information. You can click on that little arrow to show everything. Here's the reference, channel, DOI. You can click right on it and go to the paper if you want, and so on. So uh, I'd show you about activation, but since this is just a demo, I'm not going to do that. Uh, uh, we don't like to delete things that are activated. But if you decide you want to get rid of this before it's activated, can delete it. Can I undo? Well, it's good to know. And now it's gone. And that's how you would uh, upload data into the Magic Database. Thank you.